You know one of the most fun things about being a writer? You have the best excuse in the world to get random little things like this. I love my little hourglass. I also love my little egg timer. For me, when I was trying to find time to write, it was the hardest thing in the world. I never had the time. I was always really low on energy and making something creative really drains you, especially if you're not prepared for that. I have discovered though, that I can find 15 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, or like my egg timer, three minutes to get something quickly jotted down or just, you know, take a note on the current work in progress and go from there. This month in April, actually for Camp NaNoWriMo, I've been writing in little 15 minute sessions right before midnight and focusing on getting out as much of the story as I can while my little timer trickles down to nothing. There is something incredibly motivating and satisfying about having an actual hourglass next to your laptop while you write. If you've been having trouble getting to your keyboard or just, you know, working on the story that's been basically taking over your brain during all of your other waking hours, try an hourglass, try an egg timer. <laughs> A three minute egg timer flipped over five times, same 15 minutes. And plus you get more fun because you know as it's trickling down, oh hey, I have, you know, three more flips of the egg timer or I've got two minutes and I've spent two minutes doing nothing. Oh my, for the next three minutes, I need to make sure I just get some words on. The fun thing about it too, like there's different timers. You can find whatever timer you want it to be, but there's just something really charming about it and something that just kind of makes my creative brain go like, oh, hey, um, let, let me do a thing. Let me do a thing because watch the sand. It's going down. It's, it's time. Time is passing. And so the next thing you know, you've flipped your little timer two or three times You've written a couple thousand words, a couple hundred words. Once you get in the habit of writing in little blocks of time, it becomes invaluable because the next thing you know, you're writing novels, finishing stories, creating new songs, poems, scripts, whatever. But you've learned to narrow your focus down to a really small block of time and all of a sudden you're creating things. You're just sitting down and going to work and it doesn't even feel like work. So give it a try. Just take something that you've been dying to get started on. Something that you've just been saying, oh, if only I had a weekend. Oh, if only I, I had a free afternoon or an early morning, whatever it is, okay? And don't expect it to work instantly, okay? You might need to give this two or three times, but give yourself that space and give it a try. You might be really, really surprised at what happens. I know I was.